Gums. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. I'm sorry, this is like the... Music is back. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I eat some M&M's. Daddy. I don't know. I just really like the song. Sip 36. Trust no one. Sorry, you're sad, but I support you 100%. This is beautiful. The strawberry. I'm gonna give a big old gives me a big old hug. Big old dog. If you guys watch, um, if you guys watch Barkerplier, you'll understand that. I grab some plates and forks and serve us some delicious cake. So it's really stupid. What is it? The whole thing, I know I've been really weird lately, and there's just... I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. I'm listening. Do you want me to take notes? I'm guessing I should start from the top. So, you know Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma R. I guess you're not technically wrong. It's good to have f fallbacks like that one. Anyways, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought I was all in my head for a while. But then I found out Rosie M, from Rosie M, that both Emma, Grace, Noah, and all the, all went to, all went to party at Mc, McKenzie's F's. On the same night, they all told me they were busy studying for the Calic AB final. Yikes. So, another important piece of information is, uh... God, this is embarrassing. I, um, have a crush on Noah, and, uh, that's a thing. What? Whoa, I had no idea. I definitely didn't know that. Okay, you're a bad liar. So are you. I learned from the worst. Anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was in my R, and she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confirm them about the party thing because I didn't want them to start drama, so I just kept quiet and kept doing my, just kept going about my business. Amanda sighs, and then one day I invite everybody out to get nachos at the mall, and after not texting back for like two hours, even though none of them were, never put their phones put d phones down for like more than 60 seconds, they all say they're busy like simultaneously. So I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were all out for chips, and I really, really, really want nachos. Totally understandable. Ugh. So I got to the mall anyway. I went to the food court, and who do I see there? But Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah, all hanging out together and eating nachos without me. What? It gets better. I'm standing on the escalators watching them, and I realize that Noah has his arm around Emma R, which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss. No. Yes, I know. So I storm over, and I'm like, "Hey!" And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt because of the course, because of a course, and she does, and Emma R is just like glares at me. Grace, Grace, nothing is coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace is the... Well, yeah, but that's not the important part. Grace is the one nobody really likes, or I guess that's me now. But any, but anyway, nobody saw it say, say, nobody will say anything, and I'm just like, you guys suck, When I re which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say, but I, just re I was really angry and really embarrassed, and I just wanted to get out of there. So I left without nachos, my dad, which only further contributed to the shitty day, and I immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat, asking them why they've been so weird. Hi, pumpkin. I love you. Love you, too. And I wrote another one to Emma R asking how long you know and this thing have been going on. Sorry, I know that's a lot. You still following? Oh, okay. Get a load of this. Emma R says, you know what? Let me just read it to you. She pulls out her phone and reads it, word for word, in a in our doubtious arduously long string of I don't know. Can you believe that? I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, I do not understand what she's talking about. This is all beyond me. I'm trying my hardest to support, to be supportive. You were dating in secret for, like, months. So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend, and she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And then she left me on read. And then, 
Wait, left me on read? What's that? Oh, like, she saw my message and didn't reply. And I know because there are read receipts. I don't know what read receipts are, but I'm just going to nod and pretend like I understand. Gotcha. So while this all is happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am because she's at least being kind for some reasonable, a reason, kind of reasonable, and I'm venting to her about how pissed I am at everyone and stuff. And then out of nowhere, Donut texts me and is like, how could you say that about me? And I'm like, say what about you? And then he's like, tell Emma P, send screenshots of everything I told her to the group chat I got kicked out of. Alright, I, th I think you lost me at screenshots, but it definitely sounds bad. There's so much more, but... Honestly, it's all just really stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is that everybody dropped me. Half of my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. Amanda, I'm so sorry. I almost accepted. Ev I always. I almost expected everyone. To, everyone. I, I almost expected it from everyone else, but Emma R has been there since Dad dies, and I can't believe she would just stab me in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Amanda stabs the the remnants of her cake okay i take back i'm kind of mad she's dating noah like what did i do wrong why did everyone just suddenly decide not to that i'm not cool anymore why wasn't i enough i don't understand and as mad as i am at everyone like i miss them dad i look so dejected i can't i can, almost can't take what i could possibly say to help anyways that's it that's the whole story sordid tale thanks for listening tune in next week for the hot for the hot gossip wow I know it's pretty dumb. No, it's a stupid thing to be said over. Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for not having feelings. I guess. Unless you're secretly being a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long time, a long, long time ago. But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. When you get older, you start realizing that, so, that the sort of people you want to associate yourself with do really want to surround yourself with people who would do something like that to their friend. It takes a lot of work to find and maintain, and maintain meaningful friendships. It took me a long time to figure out that myself, and I wish I'd learned that sooner. If the other person isn't putting the effort in to show you how much they care, it's not worth it. You're not, be, you're not beholden to be their friend. Ultimately, I think it says way more about their character than it does about yours. Because you're amazing, and if they can't see that, well... That's their problem. I swear I've heard that line way too many times. I'll keep that in mind. I looked down at the table. Did we just eat that whole cake? Yes. We did just eat that whole cake. Well, good talk. And then it gets up to go to her room. Before she closes her door, she turns around. Hey, Pops? Yes? Thank you. You're, you are always welcome. Love you, Amanda. Love you too, Dad. Aw, Amanda Panda! It's Amanda Panda! Ah, so cute. I love Amanda. I love Amanda. Amanda Panda. You, you got dad. Dads. Got we got another. I knew it. <laughs> hey Derek, what are your feelings about poker? Beyond hardly knowing her. Poker? I I hardly know her. There it is. Well, good talk. <laughs> Wait, I actually like poker. I just saw the joke and I just had to take the shot. Please, Matt. I'm a dad. I'm I'm contractedly obligated. No, no, I get that. Anyway, we've been playing weekly poker, and I figured I'd send an invite your way. That sounds great. I love losing money. Cool, dude. See you soon. <laughs> Lose that money. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's that's great. Tip, dad tip 21. Eat a lot of broccoli. Matt invited me to poker. poker